let me try to understand this Atlanta Braves. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try. I live in Atlanta. I love <laughs> Atlanta. Jason Hayward win two gold gloves. He's a legitimate baseball player. You trade him. Simmons win two gold gloves. Shortstop. You trade him. Craig Kimbrell mm -hmm. goes to full All-Star game. You trade him. And you're thinking about signing a guy that has not played since Moby Dick was a minnow. He a big old white whale, so you know how to mm. get from a minnow to a big white whale. He hadn't wait, played. Wait, that, that was back in the 1850s. <laughs> right? I'm just trying to say that's how long it's been since okay. this guy's played baseball. Yep. And you're going to sign him at 29. Mm -hmm. What bothers me, of all, I do not fault T Tim Tebow for taking his crack and swinging. Mm -hmm. But what upsets me is that he's too good, he's too prideful to go to Canada. He's too good, he's too prideful mm -hmm. to go to the Arena League. He's too good, he's too prideful to switch positions. So you know what? Mm. I'm better than you, Dion. I'm better than you, Bo Jackson. I'm he, he better than you. He didn't say that. Did he say Can that? Can I finish? Let me finish. This is my time. I'm going to give you your chance. Mm -hmm. Jim Thorpe. Mm -hmm. All those guys were dominant in a, in a plethora of sports. But Skip, Dion played baseball in college. So did Bo. Sure. So did Brian Jordan. They were all stars in their particular oh, sport before great. crossing over. Yeah. He can't master football, his best sport. And you expect him to go play baseball? And they say the hardest sport to play is, is baseball. It is. Skip. So he can't throw the ball to a six foot three, 220 pound receiver, but he's going to throw a little round ball into a mitt from 200 feet away. Mm -hmm. Man, get out of here. Get out of here. We saw him do it at the tryout that Joy and I attended the and other he was, day at USC. And he was stiffer than a fence post. No, he was not. Yes, he was. He couldn't move. Couldn't move? Are you kidding me? He, he, First he, of all, he ran a 6.6 second, 60 Running like dash. this here. <sighs> yeah, did you see him in the outfield? I thought Skip, he covered stop. a lot of ground quickly. Caught every ball hit to him in the outfield. That's Skip, unfair. They, they, they hitting the ball directly to no, him. No, they did not. They were hitting in the gaps. Okay. Skip, stop playing, T man. Tell me when you're finished so I can start. I, 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 I'm, I'm finished and I'm done. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the Atlanta Braves first. I'm going to take this in two layers here. The Braves are one of a number of teams very interested in Tim Tebow. Tim will choose the system that owns all of its minor league cities teams or towns teams so that he knows he's going to get a legit shot to get to the big Tim leagues. Tim is going to t choose what's best for Tim no, and his platform. Not. I thought, wait a second. I thought, it, Joy, he did say turn? he was finished and he was Did done. you say you were done? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm okay, sorry, I'm right, done. Okay. I'm going to sit back here. I'm okay, just gonna... thank you very much. So if, if you're with me on this, let your mind go a level deeper here. Tim Tebow is going to choose his best route to the majors, not to be a sideshow for some Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey, minor league owner who owns his little circus team within a system that's not owned by the big league team. Do you I see do. what I mean? Yeah, I know. So he will choose to go where his path is covered by the big league team all the way to the top. Because as I said that day to Joy, we were live streaming on Facebook, I give Tim Tebow a long shot shot at making it to the big leagues. How long? Long shot shot. That's no, as well, long as you can make it. No, say but, long but I, okay. wait, 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 wait. shot. I think it's my turn to talk here without being disrupted and interrupted by Shannon Sharp. Well, he's disrupting our news cycle okay. doing no, this these shenanigans. No, he's not. So what did we see out there? We saw a six foot three inch, 255 pound athlete with 7% body fat who during batting practice, albeit batting practice, like the preseason NFL games, yeah. he was absolutely annihilating balls with a pretty easy swing that flew just about 500 feet. Joy, you were there. I was there. Did they I not saw fly it. up into the, the tall trees Joy, way above skip, the score? Don't Listen, skip we are that. talking I, I saw about it. I was there. monster potential big league power against 75 mile an hour straight balls in, in BP. Then came the live pitching. A couple of guys, one who'd been in the big leagues for a while, one who barely hung on in the big leagues, but they were thrown in the low 90s and they were trying to get him out with stuff that was unpredictably coming at Tim Tebow. The catcher was calling various pitches and they were trying to get him out with counts and at bats. And Tim's bat looked a little slow to me, but I'm going to remind you to, to, about your point. 
He had not played baseball since he was a junior in high school. And against legitimate big league stuff, he was a little late in his swings, but he made a whole lot of contact. He missed a couple of off-speed pitches that completely fooled him. But in general, I think a number of teams saw enough that if they gave him a shot over a long, hot minor league summer of bus riding, that maybe he could settle into the speed of the game and start to figure it out, and it's worth a look. And don't tell me that he's stealing a spot from some kid who could make it. Baloney! The minor leagues are stocked with career minor leaguers who are nothing but set decoration and competition for a few of the kids who have a chance to make it to the big leagues, okay? What, what